Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you today. Today, we want to think uh, for our devotional around the theme, Do No Harm. Uh, it's part of a new sermon series, um, The Three Simple Rules, based on John Wesley's teaching. These, simple, these three simple rules provide foundational principles for Christian living. The three rules are, do no harm, do good, stay in love with God. When understood in practice, these short 10 words can transform us and the world around us. When taken to heart daily, these rules will help you lead a more faithful journey as a disciple of Jesus Christ. Let's take a look at the first rule, do no harm. We read in Romans 14, verses 19 and 21, these important insights from the Apostle Paul as he writes to the Romans. Let us then pursue what makes for peace and for mutual upbuilding. It is good not to eat meat or drink wine or do anything that makes your brother or sister stumble. In biblical times, there were strict food laws and a passionate discussion about what one is free to eat. I want you to notice two things about what Paul said. First, Paul tells us to pursue what makes for peace and mutual upbuilding. We will agree for the sake of this devotion that there is a liberty to eat certain foods. But that isn't what is important in the body of Christ and within Christian community. Rather, Paul wants us to do what do to do that which produces peace rather than discord, mutually builds up one another rather than tear down. Doing no harm then from verse 19 reminds us that foremost in our thoughts with each other is a desire for what? Peaceable living and building up one another. And in this case, it means intentionally and freely avoiding something so that the community can remain united and moving forward. Paul goes on then to say in verse 21, that we should do nothing to cause another brother or sister in the faith to stumble. Again, it calls for personal restraint of a particular freedom for the benefit of someone else. So let's say you have a friend who is on a diet and really trying to develop a healthier lifestyle. Well, if you are going out to eat with that friend, maybe in their presence you choose to have a chef's salad rather than your usual eight ounce greasy hamburger. You're going to intentionally make a choice to help that person stay with their plan and not stumble. You know, I believe when we hear this uh, first rule, do no harm, we often think of it primarily talking about not breaking, let's say the 10 commandments or breaking the, any particular laws of the land. And certainly it is talking about that. But I think in this short devotion, it is also a time to be reminded that we can do harm when we exercise a personal freedom without regard for those around us. I think we can also do harm when we are silent and the situation demands for us to speak up. Whether it's calling someone uh, when they share an inappropriate joke, not joining in gossip, or not agreeing to do something at work that you know is clearly wrong. We do harm to ourselves and to others when we are silent and fail to speak up for the truth and what is just and right. Well, I hope this is getting you to think about this first rule, do no harm. Join us on Sunday morning as I continue our conversation on the first rule, do no harm. And if you'd like to read, uh, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about this, there's a short read on these rules found in a, in a very small book, Three Simple Rules, A Wesleyan Way of Living, that was written by a retired bishop, Reuben Job. He does a great uh, job on the, in his small book on these transforming rules and will add to your understanding. Um, I hope that this devotional is speaking to your hearts and... Um, Say glad to share it. Let's move on to some announcements uh, about Wesley Church and some upcoming activities. 
Uh, they begin, VBS is beginning next Sunday, July 18th. I'm, I'm really excited. And I have a couple announcements about Bible school. Certainly, my friends, let me hear me clearly. It's not too late to register. So if you know a child in the ages in in the age, the age of three to twelve years old, please go to our website www.wesleyum.org and register uh, the, your child or or your your neighbor's children or the like. We would love to welcome all children to come and experience how Jesus pulls us through tough times. Also, VBS is accepting donations of juice boxes, cookies, and Sunday toppings. You can drop them off at the kitchen in the NPR. And we thank you for your support. We don't have a community aid collection bin anymore, but you can still support Wesley Outreach through community aid. This Saturday uh, from 9 to 1, we will be having a community aid collection day. Please bring gently used clothing or shoes and uh, they will be delivered to community aid for you only on this day. And finally, we are looking for ministry partners to visit Schaffner Detention Center once a month and to provide a Bible lesson and discussion time for these youth. Please contact Amy Whitworth to volunteer or to learn more information about this important ministry. Well, I'm glad we got together today and let's close our time with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, today we're being challenged to do no harm. Help us be more aware of how we interact with one another and to always consider how our actions and even our silence might impact someone else. Give us the discipline and the courage to do no harm, even when others might be upset with us. Forgive us if we do harm to another. And oh Lord, help us to make it right with them. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for visiting with me today. Let's talk again soon. May the peace of God be with you. And please stay strong and stay safe.